Hello there everybody, Embrix here, and welcome to my new house. This is probably going to be my new Lego room. As you can tell, it is completely empty, so there probably will be some echo in here. Obviously, it's so much bigger than the old one, because my old Lego room was just a closet. And uh, I just want to say that um, the first video, uh, well, I made a video before this that I didn't upload yet, showing my last minutes in the Lego room, but the date is June 1st, so a lot of new Lego sets came out, probably gonna get them in a week or so, it's just that we just moved, so we don't really have time to drive anywhere. And now, um, for the last six months, or thereabout, I haven't gotten Lego sets, if you watch my YouTube channel, and the reason for that is because we wanted them all to come to the new house, so my grandfather was uh, collecting them for me, and here's the stack up, six months worth. Okay, by the way, this is my bag and suitcase with all my Lego. I just cut my finger, so that's going to be there. But uh, sorry about, again, the sound quality. I don't have a mic. I really just moved. This is my uh, first day, uh, but I was here since the night. I had four hours of sleep, but now I'm up. Anyway, so all my rare Lego made it, so that's good. And let's get started. Uh, this is not part of the haul. It's just my Wii U stuff, though I got a lot of Lego dimensions and the game for the first time, so that's why I got my Wii U out again. A lot of these boxes are open, because again, my grandfather just collected them, everyone's stuff. Mine, my siblings, my mom's, my dad's, so we had to sort them out, we had to open them and see. I do like opening them on camera, but because we weren't sure, I did have to open them. So, let's just get started. And I'm holding the camera with one hand, because again, I don't have a studio. So this is going to be kind of difficult. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop the video because I don't have a knife or anything since we just moved. And, I don't know, maybe I can use car keys. Okay, so, we really just moved. All I had was dinner. I didn't have breakfast. So, um, we don't have forks or knives. Let's try my luck with this pen. Yeah, this particular piece is a bit troublesome. Sorry about that, guys. It's probably pretty boring up to this point. But, some of these are already open. But my dad's out, so I don't have his keys, but that's how we opened them in the first place. And again, I just moved, so I don't have keys either. Star Wars. It's so fun doing these videos. Haha, the first order resistance trooper transport. I got this for like a hundred dollars on eBay. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. Uh, I got it because it was a troop transport. Sorry, my my broken finger, but yeah, uh, I like to transfer, it's, sure it's a, sorry about the focus, but sure it's a pretty boring vehicle, as some would say, and I can see where they're coming from, but I liked it, and $100 isn't bad, I think it was 90 MSRP, so let's get right in the next package, pre-opened, ah, some parts are, we got some right here that isn't, that will come right off. Yes! 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 Oh, I'm so happy to be finally holding this. Lego Marvel Super Heroes Avengers Infinity War October Pack. Like, I was so worried I'd never get this because Toys R Us shut down, but then they did that uh, Lego promotion. I actually got three of these. Yes, I got three of these. I spent $75, I think it was, each time. And by the way, it was rumored to be just on Marvel sets, but it wasn't. So, hey, I got a Star Wars set. And the Resistance Bomber, that's when I won it so bad. Sorry, got some private information on there. Oh, yeah. Let's lay this up right here. Sorry about the messy video again. I don't have a studio or anything, but yeah. I can't wait to check that out, man. Yeah, see, I'm not going to get Finch Dallow, which, um, if you saw my Finch Dallow haul, I explain it more there, but, yeah. This is probably going to be a kind of long video, so we're not even going to get into it. Okay, sorry, so the reason I said into it so weirdly was because my camera was upside down. Again, I don't have a microphone, but, haha, <laughs> that just changed, because that's another thing I, I ordered in this haul. Not Lego, but I use it for Lego-related stuff, so, microphone. And this is another microphone, it's um, a table microphone, so that's pretty cool. And it is going to be for review, so it's going to 
I'm gonna do like, again, the studio isn't set up at all, so I'm gonna have to start working on that, do updates. Uh, yep, I also have all my old sets to build, but this is a lot of new stuff that I ordered. Actually, some of it is pretty old, like this. I'm going on a journey to collect all the Lego Iron Man MCU suits, so I had to start somewhere. This is usually $30, but I found it for, sorry about that, 50 This is such a great set. Like, it's way better than the Infinity War one, in my opinion. Not in terms of the Hulkbuster build. I think Infinity War one is better, but look at this. You get the Hulk, you get that nice cage. Scarlet Witch, which was new, the main villain of the movie, and Iron Man, which is so desirable. So, got that. Usually, like, when I'm buying an old set, I'm like, okay, I'll go $10 higher. So, if this was $30, i would pay $40, but I'm gonna have to bite the bullet and pay $20 more for some of these older sets. Relatively old. Missed out, of how, missed out on them when they first released. What is... Haha! This is from Shop at Home as well. It is the haul that I got for this. Again, another one of these Infinity War October packs. That is the second one right there. Oh, some new star sets. So I got the Praetorian Guards Battle Pack. That's a really awesome set in my opinion. I like... I don't know, I love doing these unboxing and packaging videos. Death Star Escape. Had to get it. And the Star of the Last Jedi set. This gets a lot of hate. I found it on sale for $20 on Lego.com. And I need a rose, so that explains that. And I'll get to the small stuff later. Oh, that's a big one. Okay, the reason the video cut was because, like, it had some private information on the box. But don't be deceived. This is a huge box. But has still a big set smaller than the box would say it is and if you watch my mid scale millennium falcon videos then you'll know it is the force awakens millennium falcon needed a millennium falcon and um i think the star wars episode 9 one will be more expensive so i got this for a hundred and thirty dollars so less than msrp so that's Pretty cool. Let's bring you the next box right over. It looks like it's from eBay. Looking at the packaging materials, and I'm gonna have to cut it, so let's cut the camera. Okay, so I kind of demolished this packaging, but I got a lot of the Force Awakens stuff. By the way, I was planning on doing separate hauls. Like, first I ordered all the Force Awakens set, I was gonna do a separate haul. The Bricktober stuff would be a separate haul, but then I was like, you know, it's gonna be five haul videos in a row, so let's just do them all together. I was right, this is from eBay. It is. The Battle on Takodano. $60 was so overpriced, but I got for $40, which is still pretty bad, but I want Kylo Ren's helmet and Maz Kanata, and it's a fun playset. Really fun, actually. If, you know, the price is side. Uh, that is heavily taped. We'll come back to it. This is opened. Uh, kind of open. I just got it. Sorry about this bad, shaky camera, but... Okay, here's the next attack. Yes! Attack on Avengers Tower. This is such an amazing set. Only $60. I am... S I was so sad to do this. This is a $60 set. I paid $200. $200 US dollars for it. That's so overpriced. I know. But it's just one of my most sought-after Marvel sets of all time. I had to do it. I had to, but... That's just so much for it. It's just a really big box for $60. $60 was a great value. I value it at $100 personally, but that still means I have to pay double, you know? And there's the pile of packaging. And let's get this uh, next one open. Oh my god. Okay, so this wasn't supposed to come until June 3rd. I cut the, I cut the camera because of focus. Focus is acting really terrible, but... This is a surprise. It wasn't supposed to come till June 3rd. This is great. It's Lego Dimensions for the Wii U. And the reason I got it on the Wii U is I also have an Xbox 360. But on the Xbox 360, it's um, $60 MSRP, $40 uh, on Walmart, but $20. That's great. So, yeah, I, I was looking forward to getting Dimensions. I never got it because it was so pricey. But now that it's funny, hey, I got it. And, uh... <laughs> and I got a lot of it, which you'll see later on, but, 
Yeah, this is a really nice box and a really nice surprise. I didn't expect to get that. So, there's what the pile is shaking up to be. And we got two more. Two more. So, let's this next one open. Okay, this is from figure.com. And you can see what it is. It's an endgame set. I got this before I saw it in game. No spoilers in this video, by the way. Wow, this artwork is really nice. I thought it would be on plastic, but it's like canvas paper. Avengers HQ. The new Avengers Tower. And the main reason I got it when I did. This amazing 10th anniversary promo. Why I say amazing is because of the box art. That's what stole me on that. Haha, uh -huh. and I doubled up by ordering the Avengers HQ. I got the artwork, tripled up then. Artwork, Avengers Tower, and the Easter Chip. I was pretty excited for it. People really like that, so one left. I'm sorry. I know this is super messy, just like the rest of this video, but there's just so much tape on it that I ripped out the side wall. Okay. I was super excited for this. When I said I got a lot of Lego Dimension stuff, I wasn't kidding, so I purchased the entire collection. Yep, the entire Lego Dimensions collection. And uh, the reason for this was I was in an, a bid on eBay, and uh, someone got 55 of the Lego Dimensions characters, including Sonic and some other popular ones, for $150. And eBay's system had a glitch, or the internet dropped out, I don't know which one, I'm not gonna blame, but, um, unfortunately I didn't win. And then, uh, I found this amazing offer of $350. Well, it, the listing was the complete collected, including Supergirl and Green Arrow, for $30, but then, uh, sorry, $30, no, for $700, yeah, $700, that's what the collection is valued at. Dollars. And, um, the thing is, sorry about that. Anyway, $700, and the thing is that I got it for $350. I made an offer, but, um, yeah, I bought this used, and I'll talk about that, but first I gotta get these open. Okay, so that was so easy with two hands. Anyway, in here is just, like, the story packs. So I'm not gonna bother, but, oh my god, I wish he packaged these, or she, I don't know, kind of better, but I'm pretty excited. Anyway, the reason I bought these used is, if you don't know, hey, instruction manuals. I have a strict rule to not buy used, but I kind of cheated, because I buy video games used, because I can just reset them, and I bought the starter pack new, even though he included it here, uh, and the reason for that is because I want to start the game new, just I want all the characters, and um, I cheated with myself, I was like, hey, it's technically a video game, so I'm going to buy used, and used was so much cheaper, I got online waves for, like, to get the first wave, it would cost me $355, but... I got all of this for three fifty, so less than one wave, and I'm pretty excited for it. And uh, yeah, it seems like it's gonna be pretty pretty fun. It's just gonna be kind of hard and annoying to sort. But um, yeah, so let me get everything real nice and then uh, go on. Okay, so here's all the Lego stuff, not including the microphones. And yeah, it is. A lot, but I waited six months for this. So I just realized that I'm missing one package. You guys probably realize this. I said I got three Infinity War packs. I did. I'm in for the next one. I think I got in that haul the Captain Marvel set and the People pack. I'm gonna go pick it up tonight or tomorrow, hopefully. But um, yeah, okay. So this looks super fun. So uh, you get all the Star Wars sets back there, and then you get these Marvel sets up here. Yeah. So. Oh my god, all I ordered was Marvel and Star Wars, I just realized. And then you got, and Dimensions. So, yeah, this looks great. I'm so excited to dig in. I'm probably gonna be, be I'm probably gonna build these before I rebuild the old sets. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it, and if you did, please subscribe, leave a comment down below. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye. Hey, so the video's not over. It's been about 30 minutes since, um, you know, I was really recording it, but then some stuff popped up. So, the other... I was talking about. Yeah, well, I got it. And I have, in the meantime, started sorting out the dimension stuff. I'm just mainly worried about the figures, so I've taken those out. That was the box cracking, but yeah, and then I'm gonna sort out builds later, because look how messy this is. But anyway, 
I did give a great deal for it, so I'm not going to complain. But okay, so as I said, and I packed up the rest. Sorry about that. But the extra book tower pack, the third, the Lego City people pack that I didn't get for last year. Oh my God! Why did I get this? It was on sale for three dollars. Maybe that's why. But eh. Maybe I wouldn't have. And Captain Marvel couldn't get. I got this, I think, before I saw the movie. I'm not, I can't remember, but either way, you know, I kind of want to return it because I get Captain Marvel in, I get Captain Marvel in um, the Avengers HQ. Young Nick Fury is the only reason I'd get this. Talos looks so inaccurate. Goose I don't need, and this is, and Captain Marvel's okay, and I do have another cat, so eh, I'm probably going to return it. So... Yeah, I got that stuff, and remember that box that I said I'd come back to and never did? It's time to open it. Okay, uh, my finger's really hurting, but... Again, so here is... I got the first order transport, now I got the resistance transport. Okay, so that's... Uh, yeah, the rest of the haul, but... um. Uh, what was I about to say? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna make another video covering all the dimension stuff, hopefully, you know, getting it sorted and all that, but, uh, yeah, that's it for now. I hope you liked it, and if you did, please subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.